Well, I heard it again this week. I can't believe I did, but I heard it again this week. I heard someone say, everyone is replaceable. And uh, you might be thinking, people are replaceable or they're not replaceable. I have difficulty, uh, and this is on the outside, but uh, hearing someone say this to their people, it's uh, just, it's not right. I don't think it's right, but is everybody replaceable? Well, we have two scenarios that I've thought about, and maybe people are replaceable. We have primal management. Primal managers have a directive style. Micromanaging, uh, there is centralized decision making. Uh, everybody's kind of treated like little children. And oftentimes we might see job simplification, even though even some of the simplest jobs uh, uh, takes talent and time to learn, uh, especially when speed is important. Uh, I was watching a video of people making pizza and, the, the, and how quick they are and how long it took to master uh, not only the quantity that goes on the pizza, but the speed, the order, and you watch them do those boxes real quick. So uh, even with job simplification, uh, it would take time to learn how to do things uh, for a rush hour. Uh, little leadership or no leadership, uh, unless it's bad, toxic leadership. No relationships are built. Now this is the primal manager. No relationships are built, and therefore there's no trust. So that, it, without a relationship, uh, you can't really coach and build somebody up to become great and know where they are and where they, can, where they can go. So when we have this going on, we have this primal management going on, uh, there would be a tendency that nobody would be engaged. Nobody's really on the team. They're just going to work to collect the paycheck. Uh, they're not in the mood to improve anything. There's no active learning going on, and the manager, with the attitude of everybody's replaceable, wouldn't spend a whole lot in training people because people don't have value, and they're probably about to leave. They're about to quit uh, or get fired, so why bother to train? Uh, no on-the-job development. Taking people not just to become uh, better at certain skills or task, but, uh, you know, a, a further the understanding of the organization, the system, so they can develop and understand how things work so they can go, you know, work on more complex things. Uh, and it, when we have this going on, uh, I just came up with the term, uh, we get uninspired slugs. No improvements are suggested, no communication, we just go in to collect that little check without any passion. And we do the same thing every day. Here again, no continuous improvement. Uh, we don't work on speed or you know, quality or anything like that. So therefore, in this scenario, people might be replaceable. Maybe we have a point. So if you look at this and you think about the situation, everyone is replaceable. Well, if you have the attitude that everyone is replaceable, you're probably going to get a situation, a scenario where everybody is replaceable. But if you come up with the attitude and go over to the enlightened leader uh, who would be supportive uh, and have a supportive, participative style of management, leadership, uh, people get to participate, uh, they get challenges, uh, they get opportunities to, to develop on the job, not only just job specific stuff, but you know, their brain is, is uh, working on challenges and uh, becoming more developed. Uh, we do have a spirit of continuous improvement. How can we better ourselves? How can we better the operation, the processes, uh, and things like that? And we invest in uh, Tannenbaum and Schmidt, where, if you remember that, where we go up here, where they become self-managed to some degree. Uh, that creates a very valuable 
employee and it's an investment over time. So uh, we also have during this, we have relationships over time where the, the leader figures out the talents of people and what they're good at, what, what they're not so good at, what they can develop and, uh, and things like that. Uh, it gets to the point where I, I've seen this, I've witnessed it, where we can pretty much, the manager leader, can read the minds of the employees and vice versa. You don't have to ask them to do anything, they already know what to do. Uh, it's like dancing in the dark. It's a, it, it's a, it's coordinate, it's coordinate, it's just automatically it works because the people know exactly what to do, they know the personality types, they know people are responsible, uh, and the, the employee knows what the, the leader expects and things like that. So uh, you don't even have to ask for them to, they're already doing it, right? So in this case, I would say people are not replaceable. They're not replaceable. Uh, not, it would take years to uh, speed things and get back, things back up to speed in this case. So is everyone replaceable is the question. And I'm going to say, if you have this attitude, maybe they are. If you have this attitude, maybe they aren't. I know that the guys that work for me, it would be extremely difficult to replace them. If there's a touchy little situation, I let it go. Because I can't imagine having to replace these people that know my property they know my house they installed half of the things in my house they've torn my truck apart and put it back together they know my truck that wouldn't be very easy to replace and i'm also thinking about uh my father's ranch where the employees would come and stay for years at a time you know in the college age uh, and and all the things that they had to learn uh, throughout the course of the year to operate a, a hobby farm. Uh, I mean, when they even hinted that they were going to go back to school or something like that, I mean, you wanted to cry because <laughs> it's going to take forever to replace them. Are they replaceable? Not very easily. So, uh, yeah, you can, you can tinker around with your... Uh, uh, definition of replaceable immediately or long term but still these people it would take years to get the operation back up to speed if they left so i'm gonna say i don't want to call you know dummy over here the uh primal manager uh maybe their people are replaceable but the enlightened leader knows that throughout time we're going to develop people get better uh, they're doing the job and working together and people are not so replaceable. What do you think? <laughs>